a lot of requests for this song tonight. Thank you much. There is no more perfect sound than that voice on that stage on a Saturday night. Vince Gill, everybody. Coming up, Charlie Warsham. Leslie Jordan will make his Opry debut tonight. And a little later, Brothers Osborne will make a lot of noise. Hello, friends. It is Bobby Bones here. Welcome to Opry Live, however you got here. If it's on Peacock, the Roku channel, Samsung TV Plus, Vizio Free Watch, or the Zumo app, we are so glad you're here to share our appreciation of music. Well, this guy on stage, I appreciate his music a lot. To me, his songs, they're like a fine wine. There's always one for any mood. There's one for every situation. All I want to do is listen to any song with that voice and just savor it, you know? And that, my friends, is what fine music tastes like. Here again is Vince Gill. Vince Gill. Thank you, Mikey. Thank you, guys. It's sure nice to see you all again. Missed you. Missed you very much. Uh, I'm going to uh, sing a new song that uh, was requested by our boss man here. Sweet Dan wanted to hear this song. He heard me sing it. It's a new song. And um, it's, uh, I don't know, I, 
I hope you I, I hope you'll understand my intention of this song. It's not it's not to point fingers, it's not to lay blame, it's not to be judgmental, it's none of those things. It's just my heart trying to be human. The song's called March On, March On. Hundred bucks says I don't remember the words. Well, get on board, children. We're running out of time. The world needs healing, both yours and mine. We need to cause good trouble, but peaceful like John. The day we're all equal. Lord, the struggle will be gone. Well, preach on, brothers. Sisters, stay strong. Hearts are changing. March on, march on. Four hundred years of history couldn't be more wrong. A reckoning's coming. March on. shackles, pick the cotton in chains that's the sin of my people and I carry that shame God knows you must be weary, you've been dreaming so long you built this country so march on march on well, preach on brothers, sisters stay strong Hearts are changing, march on, march on. Four hundred years of history couldn't be more wrong. A reckoning's coming, march on. Heed the words of Martin Luther, lift every voice and sing along. Change is still coming. March on, march on. Tonight's opera performance is in association with Shriners Hospitals for Children. Vince Gill, everybody, and we sure are marching on tonight. I can't even tell you how amazing it is to walk out here and see a packed room. And I can see all of their faces. It is so incredible to be back here at the Grand Ole Opry. I missed you guys last week. I hope you had so much fun with Bobby Bones, but it's really, really lovely to be back. And man, what a lineup we have tonight. I am so excited about tonight's show. And it's just so bustling backstage. Things are starting to feel a little bit more back to normal. It's so much fun. So you guys need to be here with us. We want you in the room with us. So go to Opry.com and get yourself some tickets anytime you're coming to Nashville. We would love to see you and have you here as part of the Opry family. We've got performances coming up currently from Luke Combs, Lindsay L., Chris Young, Lauren Elena, Gary Lavox from Rascal Flats. And y'all know that list continues to grow all of the time because they have performances on Tuesday nights, on Friday nights, on Saturday nights, and it is just so exciting. Everything feels like it's starting to get back to normal a little bit. I was telling everyone everybody earlier I got to hug a couple people backstage and I was like I feel like I'm being naughty like I feel like I'm doing something I'm not supposed to do right now but it's just such a sign of hope and what a beautiful song from Vince Gill to remind us of that uh, so so perfect having him start out tonight also I cannot wait to tell you guys about this there is a new limited edition album coming out from the Opry called Opry Unbroken. Right here is the hatch print that you'll get if you pre-sale this item. And here is 
the vinyl. Now this is an album of some of the most amazing moments from this last year during the pandemic. We had about seven months at the Grand Ole Opry where there was no audience at all, which was really strange for all of the artists. And it was, it, it was a really weird feeling, but at the same time, there was all of this beauty that came from it. And some of those moments are captured here on this vinyl record. You've got performances from Marty Stewart, Keith Urban, Daly and Vincent, Brad and Carrie, Darius Rucker, Reba, Luke Combs, the list goes on. So be sure and go to store.opry.com. Tonight at midnight, you can start you're ordering of the pre-sale of this item. But you know what? It's already time to get back to the show. So I got to throw it backstage to Mr. Bobby Bones. Hey friends, welcome back to Opry Live. I'm Bobby Bones. Here's the question. Remember that kid when you were growing up that was just good at everything? You give him a baseball bat, he hits a home run. You give him a basketball, he nails a three-pointer. Golf club, hole in one. It always seemed impossible. We all just wanted to be around that kid though, just to watch him do it. This next artist, is, well, country music's version of that kid. At 10 years old, he learned to play banjo, then played at the Ryman with the bluegrass great Jimmy Martin. At age 12, he won a national banjo championship and debuted right here at the Opry. He has since learned to play the fiddle, mando, and guitar. He writes his own songs. Do you see what I mean? If you don't know him, you're gonna love him. If you do know him, like me, you already love him. Here is Charlie Warsham. Hey, everybody. I'm a big fan of the Opry myself. What a special night to be here, man. Y'all sure do look and sound good. It's, it's made this year worth it to stand here right now. Uh, if I get through this song without crying, that's gonna be saying something. This song was released this weekend. Uh, and it's the first night I'm singing it since our, our son was born. He's seven weeks old. And uh, yeah. And it's my wife's birthday, and, and both of them are in the same dressing room tonight that I was in when I was a kid, and Mike Snyder invited me to step into the circle for the first time. Uh, little Jimmy Dickens' is room number three. So it's a big full circle night for me, and uh, sure would appreciate it if y'all go out and check out my new song, because apparently we're going to have to pay for college in a couple of decades. So. <laughs> Here we go. This is Believe in Love. I believe in working hard from the Texaco star on my papaw shirt. I believe in the Lord above, cause my sweet mama took me to church. I believe in the power of good songs and good dogs, cause of my old man. I believe that life's what happens while we're making other plans. And you, you make me believe. You, you give me a reason to trust that there's a happy ever after. If it's with you, that's enough, baby, it's true. You make me believe, make me believe in love. I believe our better days are up ahead. I believe we'll have our struggles, but they'll get sweeter over time. I believe everything I give you, take to heart and keep it safe. And I believe the time we spent apart was well worth the wait. And you, you make me believe.
great sound that is well y'all uh, I'm probably not supposed to say anything about this but uh, sorry in advance to circle TV there's a new show coming maybe it's already been announced but it's it's called landmarks it's gonna be on circle and uh, I'm gonna be a big part of the first episode because I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite rooms in the whole world uh, which this is one of them but there's a place called the world famous station Inn. And if you're visiting, do yourself a favor and catch a show while you're here at the Station Inn. Uh, this song is going to be out soon, and we shot half the video at the Station Inn. And then for the other half, we made our own Nashville landmark. There's a mural across from Wilburn Street Tavern in East Nashville, a bouquet of flowers painted on a brick wall. And uh, this song is the story of the first time I told my wife I loved her outside the world famous station in. It's called Half Drum. Ha! Ain't sure that I should have done it. But I sure am glad that I did. Least you didn't take off running when those three little words came tumbling off my lips. Drunk, half joking, half crazy From day one, you've been the one, baby Just cause I went and said what I meant Don't mean I didn't mean it A hundred percent I love you And hope you won't hate me Just cause I may be Half drunk, half joking, half crazy Cause I'm all the way into you Don't know what I was thinking Don't even know if that's what I was doing is called It couldn't hurt that I'd been drinking no. Yeah, cause looking at you, girl, I couldn't help spilling it all No, oh, you're half drunk, half joking, half crazy from day one, you've been the one, baby Just cause I went and said what I meant Don't mean I didn't mean it A hundred percent I love you And hope you won't hate me Just cause I may be Half drunk, half joking, half crazy Cause I'm all the way into you
Thank you, Grandma Harper. I love y'all. Charlie Worsham, everybody, my fellow Berkeley College of Music guy. Man, I remember when Charlie Worsham showed up at Berkeley. There weren't a lot of us country singers up in school in Boston, but he got to school and there was this buzz because everybody was like, y'all, there, no, they didn't say y'all, I'm the one that said that. They said there is a banjo player from Mississippi at school now. <laughs> that was one of the first times that we had that at Berkeley. I tell you what, I have not, I don't think I'll ever get used to this applause ever again. I, I don't ever want to take this for granted. It feels so good having all that applause going on right now. Well, I'm Natalie Stovall, getting to hang out with you guys while TV and radio are doing that commercial thing they do. And we have a new season of a show on Circle coming out very soon called Jesus Calling. We talked about this show last on their last season, and it it's such an inspiring and uplifting show. So I really want you guys to check out this season of Jesus Calling Stories of Faith, Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. This season is hosted by Susie McIntyre Eaton. And uh, on the next episode, she's going to be talking with baseball star Daryl Strawberry and international faith speaker Kay Warren. So this is one of those shows that just puts a little extra dose of inspiration and happy into your life. You definitely want to check out Jesus Calling Stories of Faith on Tuesday nights at 9 Eastern, 8 Central. And then you all already know one of my favorite parts that we get to do every week here is the Circle Release of the Week. And this is another one where I've gotten to discover the artist with you guys as I tell you about him. I did not know this young man. I did not know this song, but I am a fan. His name is Jackson Mickelson and his song is Tip Jar. Now, when I saw the name of the song, this was another time that I was like, Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I thought maybe I knew what this was going to be about. Not at all. It's a whole new, fresh perspective on this. It's about a guy putting money into the tip jar to get the band to keep playing, to give him new memories and help him mend his broken heart. So despite the lyric, it has this really feel-good vibe to it. It makes you feel really good and feel like even though things aren't always the best, everything's going to be okay. So be sure and check out Jackson Mickelson's Tip Jar anywhere that you download, listen to, or stream music. But yet again, we are already back to Mr. Bobby Bones, y'all. Welcome back to Opry Live. I'm Bobby Bones. When you think about being successful, you think about a person whose talents are in demand. But that's just level one. The highest level is being prolific. Webster says to be prolific is to be abundantly creative and inventive. And that perfectly describes this next artist. Once he started in the acting profession, he worked hard at being ever inventive and constantly creative. And as a result, he's been on television nearly every year since 1986. He's been in a movie just about every year since 1988. That's crazy. Now, recently, he released his debut album as a singer. And tonight, he's making his Opry debut. Here is the constantly creative Leslie Jordan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I just put together a little something because I didn't want to draw too much attention <laughs> to myself. <laughs> Y'all may know me as an actor, and uh, I'm not a singer. I'm really not. I don't even know why I'm here. Well, actually, they invited me. They really did. They sent an email. I can show it to you if you want, if you're wondering. But let's just get started. I want to start with an old song. You know, I'm a hymn singer. I grew up on hymns. I love hymns, and so we're going to start with an old hymn called Working on a Building. One, two, three. I'm a working on a building. I'm a working on a building. I'm a working on a building, a a working on a building for my Lord, for my Well, if I was a drunk 
talker Tell you what I do It'd be hard but I'd try to quit drinking Work on a building too I'm working on a building I'm working on a building I'm working on a building, I'm working on a building For my Lord, for my Lord It's a Holy Ghost building It's a Holy Ghost building It's a Holy Ghost building Tell you what I'd do I'd marry that Amy Grant lady And I'd work on the building too I'm working on the building I'm working on the building I'm working on the building For my Lord, for my Lord It's a Holy Ghost building Lord, I'm about to faint. I'm too old for this. You know, when you act, you just get out there and they'll say, cut, or if you mess up, you know, they'll say, well, cut, we'll go again. If I mess up here, I just, that's the end. You know, that's it. I'm going to do two more songs. <laughs> This next song, you know, when I was, oh, I forgot. They told me, there's just so much to remember, y'all. <laughs> I just want to stand up here and look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when I was a little boy, my daddy would play the baritone ukulele. My Uncle Mac, who's here tonight, would get out his guitar. Yeah, listen at him up there. Hush. That's my family. Hush. Anyway, my Uncle Mac and uh, Jackie Reese, they'd get, all get the banjo and sing, and we'd sing uh, in the sweet by and by, which is one of my favorite hymns. And so we're going to do in the sweet by and by. And look who's going to help me sing. Y'all know him. T.J. Osborne. He's going to sing a verse for me. Look at him. Look how tall. Look at his. I can't even reach his microphone. Look. You go, oh, wait a minute. Here it is. You're not going to believe this voice. I'm just, you know, I said, will you sing with me? And I said, well, why don't you just sing? I'll sing a little bit, but don't worry. I'm not going to interrupt him. I think you've already sold the show. Like. <laughs> it's my outfit. <laughs> Shall meet on that beautiful 
melodious songs of the blessed. The melodious songs of the blessed. And our spirits, and our spirits shall sorrow no shall more. Sorrow no more. Not a sigh for the blessing of rest. Not a sigh for the blessed. This next one is called, uh, y'all all know this one. You may want to sing along. Y'all have been so shy. Sing, sing all your, wait, well, Lord, Lord, look. How'd y'all get up there? <laughs> Don't lean forward, you're liable to fall. <laughs> isn't this wonderful? Isn't this just a wonderful venue? Isn't it just a, a wonderful place to be? I'm so glad y'all got to see me. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. All right. <laughs>
Ja. <lacht> You is. are the sweetest. Look how pretty. So you are just, that was the most joyful performance I have seen from any debut ever. Oh my God. Do you even remember what just happened? I don't know. I'll go home and my, sit in my hotel room. I'll think about it. <laughs> what just happened? I mean, that was so incredible. And you look like you are having as much fun as we're having watching you. Oh, that is so sweet. Will you give us one more spin? It's yes, just one more. Did Just you one. tell everybody who you are when you put this on? Did you tell them earlier? I forgot. I'm Portable Wagner. <laughs> they call That's me Portable Wagner. He's Portable Wagner. Isn't that the best? <laughs> well, I adore you, and I adore you for bringing together the best voices in country music and oh. lifting our spirits and in I'll a year back. where we need it more than ever. I'll come back anytime you want me to. Well, we always want you here. The, you look like you're already an Opry member. You feel you look. <laughs> so comfortable up there. I just, I adore you. Thank I'm you. I'm a show off. Well, I, I am too. So we're, we're made for each other. Thank, thank you, you thank Leslie. You. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Y'all, I can't, I, I, again, I feel like I'm doing something wrong because we haven't been able to hug and, and kiss and touch on each other. Oh, it's just the best. Leslie Jordan, I'm just, when I saw that he was going to be here, I knew it was going to be a good time. But let me tell you what, even backstage, he had everybody rolling. He was putting on his outfit and putting on his Stetson. They had to take his boots and scuff them up on the pavement because they were brand new. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. Well, okay, before I forget, because I feel like I'm on a high after that debut, but before I forget, I want to make sure and tell you guys about a brand new show that is coming on Circle very soon. So it is Clint Black's Talking in Circles with Clint Black. Now, something that some of you may not be aware of, I mean, you know what an amazing singer and songwriter Clint Black is. He's also quite the conversationalist, and he gets to sit down with other artists, talk about their life, talk about life on the road, and to Tonight, Talking in Circles with Clint Black is coming on. So Saturdays, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. I got to get backstage one more time to Bobby Bones, y'all. Welcome back to Opry Live. I'm Bobby Bones. You know what? I'm looking for songs to add to my playlist, the ones that get my attention, either punch me in the gut or punch me in the heart. These next guys do that with basically every song. Their music seems to insist that life be appreciated and enjoyed, regardless of good times or bad times. Exhibit A, five years ago. Here's some lyrics from their debut album. If we hadn't hit the brakes, we'd have no idea paradise was hiding right here. That, my friends, is a call for life to be lived. And I got to tell you, having their music in our lives makes that just a little easier. Here is Brothers Osborne. Some people clap on a one and two Some people clap on a two and four Some people don't join at all Cause they got no rhythm and that's alright Some people they drink too much Some people don't drink enough Some people are just like me I hope y'all forgive them I'm like Scotch and Santa Claus bands I'm like Beast and Towns bands and Took a drink you might reconsider If I was a church I'd be hanging with the sinners Talking about Hendrix and heaven If I was a bar I'd be a dive A free jukebox in a double wide 
neon lights saying, come inside. And I'd be open 24-7. I'm like Scotch and Sonic and Gold fans. I'm like Beast and Tams fans. And I'm always speaking my mind. good to be back on the Grand Ole Opry, y'all. Yeah. It's also good to uh, be performing in front of people. You know, we've done a lot of shows over the past year, or however long it was. I'm just, feels like a month and five years on the same, all the same time. But we've done so many shows where we were just performing to a computer, and we had no idea who was on the other side of it. So it just felt like a comedian, like, constantly bombing jokes you know, after every performance. So... The fact that we even get to see you, hear you, this is an amazing experience. I love this. It's awesome. I'm like, wow. We're back, baby, yeah. I also want to give a shout out. Our mom is here with our Aunt Faye. I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, dead center. This is, uh, this is our first time our Aunt Faye has seen us play. Is this your first time here, Aunt Faye? This is her first time to the Grand Ole Opry ever. Which kind of makes me feel like a really bad nephew that I, I've been doing this for a little bit and it's your first time. I'm sorry, Aunt Faye. But we're here now. Y'all ready? We're, we're gonna play a song from our um, record before our last, a, a record called Port St. Joe. We're gonna play a song called Weed, Whiskey, and Willie. The three things I know a lot about. The 
only thing I believe in is we whiskey. better than those guys in my opinion. What musicians, what singers, what songwriters, and also most importantly, what incredible humans. Those two are just the best. Uh, I have been looking forward to this entire night. This whole lineup is just so incredible. And it's so good to be back with you guys. I'm Natalie Stovall here hosting on the live stream while TV and radio are doing that commercial thing they do. You can hear the radio talking behind me right now. They're talking to the audience as well. And I know that so many of you that tune into the Opry have been looking for the different ways that you can watch Circle. And there are so many ways that you can find us. Circle is everywhere now. I can't even remember all the places, so let me <clears throat> tell you real quick. Xfinity, Peacock, Roku, Samsung, Vizio, and the Zumo app. So it doesn't really matter where you are, whether you're in a yurt in Chattanooga, or you're hanging out with Aunt Dina in Iowa, big shout out there. You can find Circle somewhere, I betcha. And also, before I forget, because I have literally written this down on every single break, to say happy birthday to Betsy Schechterly. So happy birthday, Betsy. I saw that DM come in to say happy birthday to Edward's mama, Betsy. So I hope you're having an amazing birthday today. Also, I wanna remind you guys about this incredible vinyl LP, if I can get all my, my things right here, that's coming out. This is a limited edition vinyl LP. Opry Unbroken. And this right here is the hatch print that you'll get if you order it, if you pre-order it, which you can get the pre-order if you go to store.opry.com. When you order it that way, you'll get the poster. But this is all about all of the greatest moments that have happened over this crazy year. 
but the circle, as you guys know, has remained unbroken. There have been so many incredible and beautiful performances that came out of a very strange time. We weren't really sure how we were going to keep it going, but y'all, we sure made it through. And there is light at the end of the tunnel with this packed house tonight. It feels so good. But there's so many incredible performances. Make sure you go to store.opry.com. Get yourself one of these. They're going to go officially on sale June 4th. But y'all, tune in again next week. It's going to be an amazing show. I can't believe it's the end. I got to throw backstage one more time to Bobby Bones. Welcome back to Opry Live. I know what you're thinking. How did they do it? Brothers Osborne, Vince Gill, Charlie Warsham, Leslie Jordan, all in one show? That's just how we do it around here. It's the Opry way. There is no other way. Now, John and TJ, appreciate you. Vince, Charlie, Leslie, appreciate you. So talented. We're so grateful. All right, the only way to really blow the lid off an awesome show is to close it with even more awesome. Here again is Brothers Osborne. Good night, everybody. What a surprise. <laughs> you had no idea we were here, did you? Um, I always feel like it's very fitting anytime we play here uh, to always do a little, old, little ode to some old country music. That was weird, an ode to old. I'm not that smart to put words like that together. Um, so we're going to do a little old country music for you out here if you want to hear it. That was hardly convincing. I think you'll know this one. Give it up to my brother, John Osborne, please. Thank you. I'm surprised we still know how to do this. I'm singing a lot of pitch and everything. My timing's all messed up. So I'm gonna need y'all to sing with me. Thanks, baby. I'm free and I'm ready so we can go steady. How's about saving all your time for me? Cause I'm finding down on everything 
All right, y'all, we got one more song for you. And you guys are revved up. I'm really liking this crowd right now. So if you guys want to stand up, if you don't, do what you want to do. But I really want us to, I want us to get after it on this one. All right, this is a new song, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fast paced. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do my thing. Y'all do your thing. All right. All right. Princess, counterfeit called her queen. High school caught a cum laude, most likely to succeed. Her daddy's back with crazy. She got two sick football brothers. You take one step on to that front porch, she won't crazy. She should leave your breathless, suck in the back road in this town. She'll love you like a Sunday drive, but she'll take your poor heart down. Dead man's curve, dead man's curve. No redemption, no turn. Good God, my gonna crash and burn down dead man's curve. Dead man's curve, dead man's curve Country boys ain't never gonna learn Nobody ever makes it through that turn Dead man's curve, dead man's curve Songs about cheese, but what you're looking for. She's gonna take you down, leave you coming back for more. Dead man's girl, dead man's girl, no redemption, no return. Good God, I'm not gonna crash the burn. Dead man's girl, dead man's girl, dead man's girl. Country boys ain't never gonna learn. Nobody ever makes it through that turn. Dead man's girl, dead man's girl. Put your hands.